1. Citrus Harvest The harvesting of citrus fruits in Texas occurs between November and January. Picking is done early in the morning or late in the evening to relieve heat stress on the trees. Picking baskets and step ladders are used to get fruit off tall branches after it's been examined for ripeness. A ripe citrus is characterized by its shiny skin and strong smell. The picked fruits undergo preliminary selection and are placed into transport containers. 2. Raspberry Harvest Around June to July, raspberries are harvested as they turn deep red. A raspberry harvester drives through rows of bushes, shaking the canes gently with flexible plastic rods. The ripe berries fall onto the conveyor belt, where farmers eliminate the leaves and underripe fruit by hand to prevent bruising. Berries are placed into flat trays instead of deep buckets. Any unripe fruit will sit for a few more days before the machine is brought back to collect the newly ripe berries. 3. Cabbage Collection The harvest of cabbage is carried out within a period of 75 to 90 days after it is planted. For large farms, mechanical harvesters are used. The machines are able to cut and lift the cabbage heads as well as trim off some unneeded leaves and roots. Cabbages move along a conveyor belt while workers assess and take out the damaged ones. These trimmed cabbages are stored in bins. This strategy allows dozens of acres to be harvested on a single day with a minimal amount of crop damage and worker exhaustion. 4. Raisin Grape Harvest The harvesting of raisin grapes begins in the middle of August and lasts until October. Harvesters move through the vineyard rows as the grape leaves start drying and turning brown. The machines shake the vines with plastic rods to dislodge the raisins as they fall onto the conveyor belt. The system makes sure only clean grapes are collected while separating the leaves and stems. These are then placed in large truck containers for processing. This is done quickly and efficiently while vines are protected from damage. 5. Sweet Corn Collection The harvesting of sweet corn occurs from the month of June to October. Especially at the milk stage, when flavor, aroma, and moisture are at their apex. Harvesters come equipped with cutting heads that are set to the height and row spacing of the crops. The machines slice the stalks and pass them through internal rollers, which greatly reduces manual work done by people and increases harvesting speed. In 2023, the U.S. harvested close to sweet corn for nearly 340,000 acres using this method. 6. Pineapple Harvest Asia accounts for roughly 85% of global pineapple cultivation, spearheaded by China, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Workers stand beside the moving vehicles during harvest and place the harvested pineapples on conveyor belts. The pineapples are loaded directly into crates as soon as they're harvested to keep them from getting damaged. It is essential to achieve the best possible efficiency and alleviate worker strain during long hours of harvesting. 7. Avocado Harvest In 
In the volcanic belt of Mexico, avocados are harvested at their peak season. Workers cut the fruit from the trees using long pole saws. Once an avocado hits the ground, it cannot be exported. A lot of care is given to each avocado so that it is captured either manually or by net. Quality is controlled while harvesting the avocados so that only the best are sold internationally. 8. Cotton Harvest The machinery known as cotton harvesters is capable of handling six rows of cotton simultaneously. As the apparatus moves, rotating metal spindles extract the cotton fibers from the plants. The fibers are gathered into a large onboard container. Harvesters today include an onboard module system, which compacts the cotton into bales for direct transport. With this system, fewer stops to unload are required. 9. Carrot Harvest In California, carrot harvesters are outfitted with blades that sever the plant roots from below the surface. The carrots are then gently pulled from the soil and placed directly into neighboring trucks. This method helps maintain carrot integrity and greatly reduces time and damage during extraction. This method is particularly effective for large-scale farms focused on high productivity and reduced manual labor. 10. Peanut Harvest Peanuts can be harvested with the leaves turn yellow about 120 days after planting. Excavators with blades cut the complete peanut plant, and as the soil is shaken off, the roots are loosened. The plants are turned and placed on the ground for sun drying, solar drying, for two to four days. After sunflower drying, a peanut picker gathers the plants and segregates the peanuts from the vines using a rotating device and a screen mechanism for selection or classification. Bins are filled with peanuts which are clean and sorted before packaging. 11. Cranberry Harvest The cranberries are picked in flooded fields located in Massachusetts and New Jersey. Farmers flood the fields 18 inches with water. Air pockets within the fruit allow cranberries to float. Machines known as water reels or egg beaters. Stir the water to free the berries. Berries that are floating are gathered to a point where they are then vacuumed into trucks for processing. The $200 million cranberry industry relies heavily on this water-based harvesting method. 12. Pistachio Harvest Pistachios are harvested in Iran from September to October. Automatic harvesters grip the trunk of the tree and shake it mechanically so nuts drop. Automatic trays are placed strategically at the base of every tree to catch the nuts. The pistachios with foreign matter, like leaves and twigs, are not damaged. So they get funneled onto a conveyor belt, where wish remnants get washed away. This ensures clean and undamaged nuts, suitable for further processing. 13. Coffee Harvest The dry, arid mess of plantations in Brazil are the most famous coffee plantations in the world. 
Fitted with the latest technology, these harvesters have vibrating arms that shake the branches so that the ripe cherries will fall. Each machine makes sure that only ripe cherries are picked, coming through only collecting the best. After going through the cherries, the cherries are washed through conveyor belts and sent further to processing. The mechanization contributes to how Brazil produces over 66 million bags of beans every year, which is about 40% of the world. Fourteen, onion harvest. India is a leading country famous for their onions. Producing an outstanding 58,000 pounds every year. As for harvesting, every onion is individually clipped with scissors. Onion harvesters put a rotating shaft beneath the soil so that they can loosen the bowls. Once these are cut free, they come into a conveyor belt with holes for silt or older plant parts. Cleaner onions are taken to the containers for transport. By having a machine to cut the plants, they would have more recovery than injury. Fifteen, hand-picked peaches. Peaches are harvested manually to maintain the quality of the fruit. Approximately 75% of the peaches in the United States are produced in California. Workers climb on ladders to high branches and pick fruits meticulously so no bruises form. Peaches undergo sorting right away and are ready for shipment. Considerable efforts in manual labor guarantee the best quality of peaches, which is why the soft handling during harvest is so vital. 16. Coconuts Coconuts growing on different plantations have distinct characteristics. Coconuts that are harvested are in the soft stage, with the edible white flesh intended for soaking coconut water. Coconuts are harvested every month because it is the farmer's main source of income throughout the year. Practically, all of the coconut tree fruiting regions in the world use mechanical methods to collect coconut fruits. It is common practice on some plantations to scrape ditches between rows of trees to catch branched fruits. These ditches help minimize wastage and also simplify gathering the fruits. Please share your thoughts on agricultural technology in the comments and check out our other videos for more insights on farming innovations.